Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Late last night, there was a magnitude 3.6 earthquake at 8.50 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Did you feel this earthquake? Um, it was probably 20 kilometers northeast of Maricopa at a depth of 13.4 kilometers or a little more than 8 miles. Folks from Bakersfield to Tehachapi um, reportedly said they felt this earthquake. Did you feel this earthquake last night? So far, 274 people sent in reports to USGS. Did you feel that website? It was actually felt over a larger area. This is the felt reports on USGS. Uh, Fillmore, intensity level 2. One report from there. Um, Morro Bay, well, one report from there. Let's see, Powderville, or Potterville, excuse me. Um, one report from there. Most of the reports were within the Bakersfield um, location, it looks like. We got uh, 43 right there, intensity 3, another 103. Look at all these reports. Yeah, 15. 25 to, let's see, um, two from there, um, to, to Patchy. Oh, I'm all, I need my coffee. Yeah, I recently got some coffee from some of my followers. You know who you are. Thank you so much. Taff, yeah, we got reports there. This earthquake was caused by the White Wolf Fault Zone. The White Wolf Fault Zone is a high angle. Reverse fault, the small component of a left lateral slip. It begins in the southern part of the valley near um, um, Lava Road, exit on Interstate 5, which is down over here. There's a lot of different branches to it, and it actually goes into the uh, Garlock Fault Zone, which I have drawn out in, in uh, blue. Yeah, this is close to uh, several. Areas where they have thrust faults, and it's also uh, part of the um, San Andreas Fault Zone. Actually, you know, goes all the way down to that location. It extends from this intersection here, supposedly, and um, passes all the way to the south side of Bakersfield near Arvin, before ending at the mouth of Burn River Canyon. Yeah, um, here the White Wolf Fault is replaced by the supposedly inactive Kern River Canyon Fault. Yeah, we know that there's no such thing as an inactive fault zone. A lot of reports were sent into EMSC, and here is some of the reports. We got Rosedale, no damage. Um, Greenfield said their couch jumped. Let's see, Green Acres, they had a quick jolt. Another report, quick and hard from Green Acres. Another one just felt a slight short shake, and my bo my dog barked when it happened. Let's see, Rosedale, a big jolt. Bakersfield, all right, come on. I sat down and waited for a moment and didn't feel anything. All right, they're disappointed. They must not be earthquake sensitive. Another report from Green Acres. Felt it in Bakersfield. Um, another one from Bear Valley Springs. I heard a moaning sound while outdoors. Yeah, the earth is moaning, isn't it? Another one says they didn't feel anything at you know, LAX. I think you're a little bit too far. Um, they got an alert, but didn't feel it. Torrance. Let's see. Cats freaked out and stared at the floor. Olvis, 187 kilometers northwest. So that would be 116 miles. Like I said, did you feel it? Because it does help to track, you know, where the faults might be a little bit better when you get boots on the ground reports. So yeah, put your reports down below. Just a reminder that, yeah, the earth is an active yeah, seismically 
yeah, intense <laughs> area. Earthquakes have been increasing. Uh, yeah, it gives you a, a wake-up call that maybe you should be prepared for large earthquakes. So far, USGS is reporting one aftershock. A magnitude 2.5, two people did bother to send in reports. And that occurred at 9.23 p.m. last night. We do have a moment tensor ball. And you can see how the fault moved going towards the uh, southeast, dipping down a little bit. But for the magnitude 3.6, yeah, it might be an area where it's locked. Tension could be building. So you could always have another earthquake. This is the 3.6 again. And it looks like it moved to the north, but also east. Yeah, could be serious. Could have something larger coming. Back in 1952, uh, to the south, there was a magnitude 7.3. Now, this is the Garlock Fault, but it's, like I said, it all runs into each other. Even though I only have it posted showing here. Yeah, it probably runs down in to the Garlock Fault. Um, let's see. So we got two locations, 1952, a 7.5, and a 7.5. So they probably changed the location of that earthquake. And then, let's see, we got a 4.6. Oh, and a 5.2. Now, the 5.2 was last year in August on the 7th. So here's that 5.2 that occurred last year. Um, 10,516 people said they felt that earthquake. Do you remember experiencing it? Like all the way past uh, Tijuana, San Diego, all the way past San Francisco. Uh, we got Sa um, Carson City, Sacramento, and it looks like the farthest report was Susanville. What kind of damage did you have from that earthquake last year? So if you are new to the area where today's earthquake, or actually last night's earthquake occurred, a little educational tip to let you know that you need to be prepared. Have heavy objects, uh, bookcases, hot water heater, freezers, refrigerators bolted to the walls. Don't have anything above the bed that could fall on you at night. Yeah, be prepared. Be safe. Have a shut-off valve for all your water, your gas, um, a first aid kit, um, extra medicine, food, and water. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.